Hey guys, Blue Commander here, and welcome back to another video. So, today I remade Logon 111's AFK World Generator for Minecraft 1.13 and 14. This creation was very popular back in 1.8 to 1.12, and what it did was pre generate Minecraft world chunks in order to reduce block lag. I decided to update it to 1.13 and 14. Number one, because someone in my comment section called Blue Potato commented on my video asking for it. But also, one look at his comment section showed that people really wanted this for 1.13 and 14. This is all my commands, as I actually redid it completely, and I didn't see what method he used, so it's very likely we used a separate method. Nonetheless, make sure you check out his video, and give him a like and a sub. As it is 1.13+, plus, this creation now has support for data packs, as well as one commands. To get the one command, Teleport to 0, 0 as I've done, and then go to my website in the description and copy the command. And then, once you're back in game, paste it in this command block here and then set it to always active and done. Alternatively, if you want the data pack instead, that can be downloaded from the same page. And then just move it into your data packs folder and then type slash reload. To disable the data pack, then just do slash data pack disable file slash world loader b1. I'm going to do that right now because I don't want the one command and the data pack installed at the same time in case they interfere with each other. Unlike Logon's creation, you don't, do not need to change the world spawn. If you're using a data pack, you don't need to do anything, and if you're using the one command, you need to force load the chunk so it doesn't unload. This means that the one command doesn't need to be placed at 0, zero like Logons did. However, I still recommend putting it at 0, zero so when you're finished, it teleports you back to 0, zero so you can just remove the machine easily instead of having to relocate it. Now, we're ready to go. Pressing the button in chat will teleport you to 0, zero. You will not be able to move during this process or change your head rotation, but that's okay because that's meant to happen like that. Every 15 seconds, you're teleported 100 blocks forward. You're teleported in a spiralling motion, as demonstrated by this amazing paint drawing. This will run forever until you choose to stop it by pressing the button in chat. Pressing this button will stop the entire process and teleport you back to zero zero. Now time for some differences between mine and Logon's version, which I have not mentioned yet. Firstly, let's start with the positives of mine. Mine teleports you to the highest block in the XE column, whereas Logon's teleported you to a set Y level. This means that mountainous areas will not be able to make you be stuck in a block like they did for his. Also, mine teleports every 15 seconds, whereas his took 2 seconds. You may think this is a negative on my end, however, there was comments on his video saying world chunks weren't generating in time, so I thought it was a good thing if I just made it a bit longer. Now the benefit to his creation, because I don't want to make it seem like mine's way better than his. Firstly, when you stop his machine, it automatically removed the machine, so you could just get ready and play straight away. This is a bad thing for mine, because although mine does keep it, which you may think is a good thing, because you might want to pause and continue, if you do continue, it's going to teleport you, uh, start from zero zero again, which isn't necessarily what you want, because they're just going to be going over chunks you've already done on. Also, he's had a stat sidebar showing how far you travelled. You can check this on mine by just checking for the highest and lowest value in your XE coordinates. But this isn't always accurate because sometimes you're closer to zero zero than others with the spiraling motion. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and let me know if it helps you. But apart from that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.